One thing about spring, you might have that misconception, or maybe you think it's not a misconception, that uh, spring is old, kind of an antiquated framework. Um, why would you use it? You know, I like to equate spring to a good wine. So like wine gets better with age, and so does spring. It's open source, it's got great community support. Um, I've had very good uh, response times. I have a question, I post about it, and I hear back from one of the spring devs very fast. That's been great, just knowing that uh, there is a spring community to uh, support you and to answer your questions and you're not out in the wild lost. When you inevitably run into the problem that you get, you thought you knew everything and you get stuck and you've tried everything, <laughs> thrown it at the wall and you just got nothing left. All their code is available on GitHub and it's very easy to understand like how something works. It's not just code that's coming out of a black box and I like to see how things work under the hood. So that's been very helpful for me. So the fact that it's open source, um, we can kind of leverage 90% of what somebody else has already done for us and then go back and not only build in what we need, but also you know feel feel good that we're recontributing back to the community. That other other companies, other devs, other projects that come up here to Detroit Labs can benefit from from that uh, contribution. Uh, so here at Detroit Labs, we recently started building a middleware uh, that we envisioned will be used by uh, multiple projects here at Labs. And the main intention of the middleware was to abstract away things that. Uh, we would otherwise be building on multiple projects so that future projects can reuse uh, features and code. And, and it leverages Spring. So it's kind of familiar to a lot of things or a lot of different teams. But now we can get up and running on a project like so fast. I mean, things that use, maybe we've saved, you know, it's 10% of the time investment than, than before. So um, that's been really helpful just across the board. Right, and we also use the new uh, Spring stack so it's all uh, very reactive, fancy code. Uh, and it's not just fancy to write them, but it's also very fancy to use them uh, because it's very non-blocking and it's all the cool stuff that comes with reactive. And it's been great getting to explore that side of Spring because it's also a new uh, Spring feature going all reactive. So that's been a lot of fun, especially with Kotlin and Gradle and all the new fancy tools. Uh, which is, yeah, like goes back to kind of what we were saying earlier in that they're not, you know, stuck in the old ways. Like they're constantly keeping up with new technologies, adding new integrations. Um, for instance, oh, recently we were playing around with uh, uh, the Google Kubernetes integrations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you had found just like all of these out of the box spring like starter packs, I think that is what they call them, yeah. uh, that do all of the API integrations. So we were able to kind of connect our, our middleware platform uh, into these. Uh, existing Kubernetes things um, with like super minimal work. I, mm -hmm. I don't, we have basically configuration. Right, so Spring does what's called auto configuration. An example would be if there are certain things present on your class path, they directly like configure uh, clients or things you need to talk to external services. And that's what we've been able to do with uh, Google's cloud platform. Uh, we just throw properties that we need, API keys and all of those things and there is magic that happens under the hood. I like to call it magic. I was going to say, it's a little magic, so you might, <laughs> I don't know. I love it, but uh, yeah. you have to like the magic a little bit. So It's really given me the chance to work with uh, more devs uh, than I would if I were on a regular project. And that's been a lot of fun, uh, meeting a lot of people, working with a lot of people who were used to working on other platforms uh, and understanding challenges and how to solve things for them. And that's mostly what we do here at Detroit Labs. We work with awesome people. Uh, we are a great community of devs, so if you're a Java dev and you're interested in Spring or Spring Boot, uh, head over to DetroitLabs.com careers and 